snow did we get and could we expect a little more soon? Our expert answers that for us. Yeah, well, you know, in the <laughs> eastern part of the state, like the East Mountains, three to six inches of yeah. snow. And at the top of Angel Fire Resort, right. 29 wow. inches. Wow. Yeah, you, you have that. Here's to the dream. Exactly. And it's so cold, yeah. you can keep making the snow. And we talked about the big snows in the northern portion of the state. And look at this. It drove all the way down into eastern New Mexico with that Arctic air that was impacting the area there as well. And many areas picked up about a half inch of snow. So, yeah, it's a welcome sight coming in a drought. It was tough if you have to drive on the slick roads, though, but we need the moisture. We can get it. Uh, we had a 24 for an overnight low, 12 over in Santa Fe. Record breaking temperatures. Eagle does a bitter minus 17. Raton, Moriarty, minus 5, and Taos, minus 2. We're at 42 degrees, so we're off our high of 45, which is at least 10 degrees below average. Now, look at the temperatures outside right now. No, it is not that warm. So, with the clear skies, the light winds, it will be plunging. Check it out. If you're out this evening, we'll be dropping into the 30s. And then it, with your overnight lows, we're going to be back into the 20s. So another cold night. So you got to bundle up the kids, dress them in layers. As we were talking about yesterday, the clear sky is very deceiving because a cold air mass is in place. On Friday, a system will crank up the clouds, a system will drive to the south, and then a series of systems will click us, clip us this weekend. I think the Sunday storm looks to be more uncomfortable with Increasing winds and that sort of thing. So, we're going to get on a day by day warming trend. Let's go out and jump out at Friday. You can see the thickening clouds and the milder daytime highs. Notice on Saturday we have more sunshine. Breezes start to come up. Temperatures in the 40s and 50s, so not too bad there. But look at these wind gauges. They really start to crank up as we go on into Sunday. 20 to 30 mile per hour sustained winds will be common along with lower daytime highs. So, kind of a blustery day for the tail end of the weekend. We'll Continue to update you on that. I know folks in southeastern New Mexico, you're saying, when are we going to come out of the bitter cold? Give it one more night, and things will definitely start to improve there. You woke up this morning in southwestern New Mexico with the coldest temps so far this season. It's not going to be a whole lot different, but then you're going to get a day by day warming trend with the moderation in temperatures in the morning and in the afternoon. Uh, bitter, look at that, single digits from Gallup and Grant. So this looks to be the worst day before you finally start to pull out of it. But places like Santa Fe, 11 for an overnight low. 38 for a daytime high. We'll gradually see those temperatures start to edge up. But it looks like the most inclement day for your weekend would be Sunday when the winds increase and the showers increase. If you're wondering when's the last night for the single digits throughout Raton, Las Vegas, Moriarty, this looks to be the last night. And then you just go back into your typical cold weather. Teens and 20s overnight. Overnight lows will start to edge up a little bit along with the daytime highs. So bring in the pets, bundle up the kids. 22 to 16 in the valley and in the heights overnight. You see that chilly. The air mass in place. Look at the daytime high starting to edge up a little bit, 20s and 30s for your overnight lows. I think Saturday looks to be the better weekend day with the breezy conditions, uh, temperatures close to where they should be for this time of year. But winds look stronger, temperatures lower, and more clouds around on Sunday. So let's check out Traffic Watch 7 as we uh, zoom on into the area. We'll 